victim of a hit and run tough enough, right? But you may also have to be your own detective. It's because many police departments will put lower level crimes on the back burner, especially if they only involve property damage. But Darby Spark spoke with someone who did the work and is still looking for answers in tonight's Two News Investigates. It's been three months since two of Andre's cars were crashed into by someone who fled the scene, leaving him a bill costing thousands of dollars. And within that time frame, he tells me he solved his own case. But despite gathering all the evidence and handing it over to the West Valley Police Department, Andre says they won't call him back. Years of hard work can be taken away in a moment. I bought that car a month before I graduated. Andre Maximus saved up through high school to buy his dream car, a blue Subaru, and spent the next five years investing over $18,000 in parts to make it perfect. That was just my passion and just got destroyed. Just for a reckless driver to crash into it, along with his pickup truck on January 12th. He like swerves out, hits the back of my vehicle, and then jumps over and then hits the front. You can see the damage is here and... It was dented all the way in. And then my truck's bed was all squished in. And West Valley police were less than willing to help find the person responsible. The cop that came down, out that night, he was like, if you don't do the investigation yourself, go out knocking on doors, getting footage from your neighbors, this case is going to get thrown out. So Andre had no other choice than to become his own detective. And I've gone out down this neighborhood and asked almost all my neighbors, anybody who had footage, send it all to the cops. They have evidence of the bumper that he left. Did anything come out of that? Nope. He says despite multiple attempts to call the station and the investigating officer, there's been no effort in getting back to him about the case. I called them about over 10 times, never uh, called me back. I talked to a spokesperson with the West Valley Police Department. She says Andre never put in any of the evidence he collected. Andre says that's not true. And that's not all. The police say the case became inactive due to a lack of evidence. That's something that Andre never even knew. But because Two News Investigates called West Valley Police, they reopened the case. The lack of effort in solving property crime cases like Andre's is not uncommon, says Chris Burbank, a former Salt Lake City police chief. The challenge you have is a hit and run, right? Traffic is certainly not the highest priority for a police officer. Do you think that that kind of property damage warrants an investigation? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's the role of policing is to take care of things like that. It's really frustrating. Andre believes he solved the crime when he found what he thinks is the car responsible parked in an apartment complex down the street. And it was just parked there. It was a Jeep and same color as the bumper that he left there. Same damages, everything. Even though this case has been reopened, for Andre, the whole ordeal has simply been a nightmare. It's just been very frustrating on my part. Since reopening the case due to our involvement, Andre says West Valley Police has reached out to him with a new detective who will come by and reinvestigate. We'll update you when we know more about the case. For Two News Investigates, I'm Darby Sparks.